Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the utmost character of our world around us and this time we will discuss uh, recent events, I mean uh, another information was spread that um, some goals, uh, I would say some targets, I should say more, on the Russian territory maybe will be attacked uh, with the usage of NASA equipment uh, in the foreseeable or nearest future. Of course, it's nothing more than another uh, testing uh, from this time so-called geographically speaking western side how far they can go but officially I see still decisive uh, centers in so-called geographically speaking west do not want to escalate this conflict too much and on this channel some time ago I was telling you why it's simple because Russia and uh, her uh, allies are too big especially Russia itself even too big too well developed too well armed of course with problems but who doesn't have problems especially nowadays when we have uh, crazy ideologies sp spread all around the world this new Marxism idiocy that even we don't know uh, officially who is man who is woman and basic reality is being denied uh, publicly very often so who doesn't have problems that is why uh, so-called Western decisive center let's call it they call them like this so governments we see and governments we don't see are not so eager to confront uh, states like Russia directly because they are too strong uh, yeah with Iraq Libya these were smaller countries uh, politically isolated just before the action quite well and that's why it happened what happened but now the opponent as I said is huge quite well organized well connected and, and well armed that is why a direct confrontation uh, hasn't happened and in my opinion will not happen this time for sure not the worst thing for countries like Poland which are uh, so eager to I mean the elite not people of these countries to participate in this conflict and spend everything what we have to support one side of the conflict and even eager to join uh, we will get uh, I guess several rocket uh, rockets attack hacker attack and some sabotage and there will be big ow ow so uh, it's not wise but I don't think that open confrontation will occur of course it's always uh, easy to make psychosis especially among nations that a few generations ago were so horribly experienced by first world war later second world war so it's easy to uh, make the demons of the past uh, wake up uh, in the memories of people that is why some propagandists are playing this game but in my opinion we still see uh, uh, attempt of um, fixing uh, the political agenda of anglo-saxon powers so uh, UK and US because UK despite the fact everyone looks at US it's really heavily involved in this uh, argument between uh, Russians, so Russians and Ukrainians because many British holdings together with Germans and Dutch uh, are making their own business in the agricultural sector in the Ukrainian lands that is why and British are taking care of their own business and actually I never liked uh, politics of UK towards the continent and it, and it didn't change but now we see that uh, they became stupid because of their wisdom and they made many mistakes. I was talking in few of my uh, videos about it on my channel and they are now paying the price. I'm, I'm happy for that and I wish them to pay even more. This is how I see it and uh, I don't think we should be worried about open confrontation 
but we should be worried about different forms of sabotage. I mean the countries in Central Europe. Maybe even from both sides, not only from the East. But I don't think we should expect open confrontation. This is my uh, geopolitical diagnosis as of now, and it's always uh, good in quotation for governments to raise the tension and keep and keep people scared. All the best. Have a nice day. Bye.